Hi everyone! Today I am so excited! I have nearly completed all the coding steps to create a new game! I can't wait for it to be finished so I can play it with my friends! I better get to work! There are eight main different types of game development languages. Python is probably the easiest to use, but it's easier to understand if you are a bit older. Today I am going to use block-based coding instead. It has been made for younger programmers to get started before they start using Python. Let's get started! Hmm. Hmm. I have a checklist of steps to go through to help me develop and test my game. Game development usually happens in three steps and I am going to tell you about each one. Step one is pre-production. This means everything that happens when planning before we get to the coding part. During pre-production, you, the game developer, will come up with the idea and the rules and maybe even do some drawings of how you want it to look. Here are my first ideas. This is a fun step because you can let your imagination think up loads of different ideas. Step two is production. This is a bit where we get to use all our coding knowledge. During production, you will develop the code and do some testing until you get the game working just right. This step is really interesting. You get to learn even more about making your game and playing with different codes and how they might change the game. Step three, our last step, is post-production. This is when you will get ready to let other people play your game. That is the step I am on now. During post-production, you will be doing some final testing to make sure you are really happy with your game and then making it available to play for other people. This step is really exciting because you can see what everyone thinks of your very own game. I can't wait to show my friends and family. They will be so impressed. Well, when I get my final testing done, of course. Usually big companies that make your favorite games have loads of people working on one game for a very long time. So don't worry, if it takes you some time, you will learn new things every time you create a new game. I'd better go and get finished. What games will you create? 